everybody, and welcome back to our channels. This is a very fun, very sad, and uh, still pretty go cool update. I don't think it's um, that sad. I think people need to get over themselves. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys aren't aware and aren't subscribed to uh, Mojang, they released an announcement uh, today, actually. A uh, link will be in description for those who haven't watched it. I would recommend watching it. Like you can, you can see how this is affecting the team and stuff, and like what their thoughts are better when you hear them telling yeah. you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, we are not as spokespersons for uh, Mojang, uh, but also before you watch their video, finish ours and then subscribe. Or you can go watch theirs first so you understand ours better and then just come back. That's honestly probably what I'd recommend. Just just so they understand things better. Okay, you're, you go. Subscribe. <laughs> just, just go. Okay, so first off, they, so they're splitting into a summer and a holiday update. The summer update will have all the mobs and all the blocks that are promised to us. So everything will be available. Supposedly everything will be available in survival. Uh, that's probably why we've been seeing some weird shifts in things recently. Um, I know I kind of noticed some things that looking back kind of alluded to this. And then all the world generation, because that is the core of Minecraft. It's how the game runs. It's the chunkiest bit of the game. Um, I mean, Minecraft was originally just a terrain generator. It was not intended to be a game. So this is the core of the game. Uh, that will be in a holiday update, so expect that around Christmas time. And then finally, the archaeology, we, we don't really know what's going to happen with it. So be st staying tuned to us and Mojang, and we will let y'all know as soon as we know stuff about it. So, so okay. from a from a technical writing point, I want to note like this is how technical writing works. You have to first announce your project. You got to announce it to everyone who's involved. Now, Mojang's a very special case in this, in the sense that they announce their big projects to literally everyone. They announce it to their entire community. This is what we want to do. This is what we want to get done. Those little live streams are like writing a proposal. I, I wrote a proposal this semester, so I'm very familiar with this. And then, halfway through the project, you release kind of an update video where you explain how your proposal isn't happening, how, what went wrong, what went right, if you're ahead of schedule, if you're behind, all that stuff. And that's, that's kind of what this is. And I feel like a lot of people are very confused about why they would announce something so big in the beginning and then be unable to provide it. And the truth is, Mojang's a game where they see their audience as someone they have to propose their ideas to. And so, from a technical writing point, what we've got just gotten is literally them just updating us on progress and changing plans to make sure everything works right. So from a technical writing point, this this makes perfect sense because this is what I would do as a technical writer. If I found out everything was going behind halfway through, then I would write a new proposal, or in their case, make a new video explaining to the audience, which is us, what's happening, how they're planning on fixing it and adapting it, and just explaining and getting people's feedback. So that's that's why this actually makes a lot of sense, at least from a technical standpoint. And then from the um, programmer side of view and the software engineer side of view. So there are kind of two approaches to look at this. Obviously you have this technical version, um, which I completely agree with everything we just said. Um, but the thing is, is software related projects are notoriously strange at bringing in something random that just brain wrecks the whole project. Uh, it happens all the time. Um, and so what Mojang has run into is probably one of those. They're entering the core of the game and the original version of Minecraft was not well coded. Jed was really new to this. Notch was not the best coder in the world either. Um, and so they're, they're having to clean up code. They're having to bring in new code because they're, they're updating engines and stuff to get the game to perform better. And you're, we're also, they're also running into a technology blockade. So basically, they want to expand the world to this massive level, but the problem is, is they also want to keep the game available to a variety of people. Uh, like, they, they could easily just beef up the game and I could only play it. Moon, Moon wouldn't even be able to touch the game. It would have these nice RTX graphics and look all cool. But that's not what Mojang is. It's a community related game. Another thing is um, obviously, this is the pan a pandemic. Uh, and they even mentioned this in the video. Uh, that probably is impacting it to a degree. Yes, being at home does actually help some developers. 
and it does help to a degree, but it also lowers the amount of communication. And when you're working on a creative design, being able to just pop by your, uh, you know, maybe one of your coworkers' desks and just say, you know, I've been thinking about something, and being able to do that, it, it's it's invaluable. And even if they had just Zoom rooms that you can just flow in and out of or whatever, um, still not the same. So overall, I do understand the why. Um, also, this is a growing moment for Mojang. They now know some of their limits, which will allow the next update, 1.18 or 1.20 or whatever, um, to be a little bit better. They'll know better what they can, what they can and can't do. Uh, also, I feel like the most important point that we need to make here, folks, oops, I fell, uh, is, is this. It's a free update. Stop complaining. <laughs> it's free. We don't have to pay extra money for this. They put all this effort into a game where they don't make the same amount of... Pro it's not like Sims or something where every update you practically have to pay for it and like they do little free updates. We get all of this and we don't have to pay any extra. You just pay the base game for the game and that's it. And that's 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 something we also need to, to, to keep in mind is that these and also just seriously watch the video the people in there like the people who were in that video like you can see how heartbroken they were having to do this but also how like relieved and how how right it's you can tell through their eyes that they are not doing this to torture us they're doing it because they care about their community and they want this update to be awesome and yeah splitting it may ruin some of the awesome like the big impact i think more for the animal side than the terrain side but at the same time, we're still going to get it all, and it's still going to be epic, and it's still going to be fun to play, and it's also still going to be free. So, yeah. end of spiel, we can get back to the snapshot now. <laughs> um, so I guess we'll start with a small bug fix, um, just because we're right by it. So apparently Deep Slate is supposed to have a different color from stone on maps. It's I the same. Can't. It can't tell. Uh, as, it's slightly yeah. darker, like it's the minuscule darker, but to the point where I can barely see it, and I'd imagine most people would not be able to see that she turns off her heater because she forgot to do that earlier. Okay. Yeah, I imagine most people would not be able to see it. Like, I pro one of this is Deep Slate and the other stone. Good luck. And you could probably tell because of the spacing. And one of these is a face. I don't know about the face. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, Deep Slate is right here, Stone's right there, and it looks identical to me. I'm sorry. Yeah. But I don't I, I would have color. preferred, like, a darker gray map art. Like, honestly, I wish maps were more colored just in general, but that's my... Like, I wish blocks showed up more colorful, in my opinion. But... <laughs> I, I'm not um, sure the logistics behind that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and one last thing about this uh, update is you still have access to all the content that they've already made oh, yeah. through a data pack. All the code is currently in the game, and I kind of expect that to roll out through the whole thing. So it might just be that you're reinstalling a data pack or updating to lay a snapshot, um, and you might be able to play a regular survival world all the way through, because they did intentionally make that clear, that they want uh, to make worlds to be updatable all the way through. I think Lady Agnes mentioned she has like a 10 year old world that she wants to keep going. A lot of people do, which is a 10 year, that's like the start of Minecraft, because Minecraft's only 11 years old, I think. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> she like, she was really early on. Yeah, also I guess this would now be the good time to note everything that has been removed from like snapshots in a way uh be in preparing for like this new update so we have i'm just gonna read the off the list so in enjoy this uh entertain visually while i do this i'll just stare at you while i read uh world height has been switched back to 1.16 levels uh noise caves and stuff have been switched off cave and rev well those are noisy you said visually yeah, visually, meaning don't distract from my speaking. Goats are loud. Okay, cave and ravine carvers have been returned to their old setting. Crack carvers have been switched off. Ore distribution has been returned to the 1.16 setup. Carper now generates between the bottom of the world and height 192, being most common around height 96. Um, anyways, uh... Tough now generates in blobs between height 0 and 16, and worlds created in snapshot 21W05B or any earlier vision can once again be open, but worlds created past that to the 21W14A update uh, are no longer openable due to, you know, 
the world's being very, very different now. Well, now I have to blur that. That didn't work. Creeping didn't tell you either. Work. Yeah. That's everything. So the data packs um, have been added so that you can add things in. Um, so that you can just add some stuff as well as they've updated the debug function um, Not much really that I know about there um, but um, Paul the marker Paul, I think there's something wrong with the B Oh <gasps> Gosh Look it up. Was it a sleep? So they've added a cool entity called the marker. You can't see it here because it has no rendering, it's all on the server side. It's basically just a way to store data. Um, as someone who loves commands, this is something to abuse. So like I can do slash summon at e type equals marker. All right, no, 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 uh, let's see. This B is broken and that's really concerning me. Can I get you a flower? Will you be okay? And so anytime that uh, there is a mark Wait, am I a marker? Wait, what? Is the marker tied to my location? I didn't notice this, but... Hmm. Um, some other things for those of you who are map makers. They've added some ways to modify test listings. If you do like slash uh, run uh, slash say hi at e type equals goat. So you can change those commas to some other character. Um, I don't know how that works. Have messed with the JSONs as well as server.properties will now add, allow you to send a custom message with if you are requiring resource packs for new server models. Uh, now Moon has some fun stuff that she would like to talk about. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't realizing this. I would say the bee's broken. Interesting. Like, uh, I can't feed it. Get it won't move. Entity. It's broken. Is this no, no, no gravity? 1B brain? Like, it's never bright. As, it um, makes, does bees always make this uh, lawnmower noise? Is it just, I think he's also louder than a normal bee. Let me experiment with this. Let me get another bee. I'm very confused by this. Sorry for this, like, episode being really distracted, but I... Don't hear him. Okay, bees are just louder for me for some reason. But he broken, and... He broken hard. Well, the creeper's broken, no. too! <gasps> okay, uh, Mojang, you broke the bees. The creeper's broken too. Is it this area? Did you do something with the marker, the area, or something? The creeper's uh, broken too. Oh. Oh. That could be plausible. Yeah, this bee's broken now too. What did you do? I don't know what I did. But the creeper's, creeper's broken. I'm gonna look at the server really fast. The server's not running behind. He broke something. It's really creepy, but you know what? We're just gonna. I, I'm pretty sure this is related to a bug that's likely going to crash the server, so I probably want to move quickly. Um. Okay. Sorry. Uh, goats. I guess we'll move on to goats. 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 All right. Goats. They won't walk over powdered snow. One of these is not powdered snow, though. So they're gonna find the. Yeah. See, they find the one that's not. Yeah. So they will path find out this one block. Boy, those and that one just funnel through for some weird reason. But they also will. Oh, wait, I think the creepers avoided them, not the creepers. Nah, that creeper did not avoid that at all. That creeper just was like, oh. That uh, creeper enjoys the death. Yeah, and supposedly they'll headbutt you now. So if I go to game mode. Oop, nope. Survive. Oop, nope. I'm struggling. Tab. Uh -huh, you can tell me, little chick. Oh, no. Oh no! Help! You three? Did it work? Yeah. Go, let me punch you. Hit up me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me, baby, one more time. Please, don't run away. Are the goats still broken? I'm pretty sure they're still broken as far as hitting players. Although, I um, try the armor stand thing, because I oh, did yeah. mention that armor stands might be working. No goats. Hit the hit the armor stand. Not you. 
Oh. No. And they don't seem to be avoiding the creeper either. Oh, no. Well, now you killed the goats and the armor stand. Well. Yeah, well, go goats have a- so the goat powdered snow works though. They will avoid powdered snow, but they still <coughs> will not hit yeah. you. You're a disappointment okay. to society! You're Bojang. not scary Please anymore! I wanna be punched off mountain faces! Let's just be honest, she just wants to see me fly through the air. I wanna oh. fly through the air too, it's a mutual thing. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. let's uh, let's talk about this then, uh, the next thing. Yeah. Uh, let me get back into the We have n more new blocks! That's right, guys! To make up for what they've done to us with the up the postponing the update, they've added three new blocks, and two of them look cool, and one of them looks as mm -hmm. trashy as the, uh, the, the raw form that it came in. <laughs> Yeah, copper is. <laughs> copper only copper looks good long. as copper, like as uh this like this type of copper, but yeah. that's all I'm gonna say. But I love this one because it looks like dragon scales or honeycomb, and it's gonna be fun for a lot of more magical builds. I feel or like paired up with uh, the shroom lights or the glowstone. I and mean, this can only be gathered via ore. These what? are limited resources in Mojang. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, they are. Yeah, you're right. Uh. Cop, cop, huh. copper. I guess also is a pretty good dragon scale. Like all three of these are really good dragon scales and stuff. Iron though is a really good path one. I feel like look at that for pathing. Oh yeah, well, look how and, pretty like, that is. With the with the exposed copper, it looks pretty okay. I would probably use the regular version, not the. Yeah, but I, I I like these three blocks. I understand this. It's just not my faves. But I really like the iron. Yeah. I especially like the gold. Like, more vibrant colors is always something I approve of, and that's really pretty. Uh, they also upgraded the thing. Uh, I hear there have been complaints because now they look exactly alike, and some people won't be able to tell the difference between them, which could be very problematic. So they're probably going to update it again. Well, I mean, also, this, still this looks like hot yeah, this still looks like raw raw meat, not raw copper, in my opinion. So, but yeah, but I've I've, I've ranted on that enough. So <laughs> just leave that one be. Uh, what else? What else did we have? Oh, splash bottles with axolotls. Oh, I'll get the splash bottle. You get the axolotl. So, you'll know the little fishy friends. They aren't really fish, I don't think. They think they're some kind of salamander. They do not like being outside of the water. So, what you do is you grab the water bottle and you throw them on the fish. And the fish can live for 1.5 minutes after a splash of water. It is called moisturization. You should check it out sometime. I like how, uh, what is happening to this guy? Can we, what, what, sir? Sir, what is happening to this one? Oh, the baby's yeah. doing it too! Wait, is there water under here? Oh, this is the lake I covered up. Oh, are they just trying to get to the water then? Yeah, I think Uh, so. yeah, that could- I don't- mm, this, this seems glitchy to me. <laughs> this seems very cursed. What the heck? This is very, very cursed. <laughs> This is too fun. Okay. Oh, still doing it. All right, that was fun. Um, I think that's everything, guys. Yeah, and we can't die because there's nothing interesting. For the this goats. Time. We wanted to. I've been wanting to die for goats since goats have been added in, and it's still not happening, guys. So. Uh, okay. We're gonna get repo. Here, I'm gonna set you on. But also, okay, wait, 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 wait. I got an idea. 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 I feel like I'm up on the wrong side of the mouth, eh? There we go! Ta-da! Oh, it's spreading to the curve! Oh well. Ta-da! Well, time to die, everybody! Well, why do you always do that before I get into- You died fast. Into survival. I was only on page two. I haven't even <laughs> finished typing into survival. There we go, now I'm like, ready to die. I'm ready to die now. I don't now. have a trope at this point. It's, it's a trope. I've done it more than twice. Uh, this is a slow death for me because it's taking a bit, but... We died oh, via the dragon! Because the gold wait, scales wait, look like dragon egg. scales! Look, I'm being creative, guys! Yay! Creativity! Alright, we're done. <laughs>